Hey guys, it's Ashley Cunningham here and I'm really excited today to take a few minutes to show you my Oracle card collection. I um, have never done this before. I've never really talked about what Oracle card decks I've collected over the last about year and a half and um, I'm just really excited to share this. I've had a few questions about Oracle cards and um, mainly they focus on what's the best Oracle cards to use and which ones um, do Spirit actually want us to use? And the answer is there are a few that kind of stand out, but um, if you resonate with a specific deck, that's the perfect deck to use to connect to your team. So um, it just really comes down to personal preference. Um, I do want to mention I don't really, I don't really resonate with tarot cards. I don't use tarot cards specifically, which have very specific um, cards um, within the deck. I prefer oracle cards because each deck is different, has different messages, and I may be um, asking more pointed questions or looking for more broader interpretations um, for questions. So I like to use oracle cards or some people call them angel cards. It really is the same thing. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. Um, right here, this is the last deck that I've actually, per most recent deck that I've purchased. It's the Sacred Geometry Oracle deck by Francine Hart. And I love this deck so much. There are so many different cards in here that really stood out to me. Um, and it just resonates with me. Um, and I just love all of the artwork and the geometry. And I'm learning a lot about the different geometry, sacred geometry symbols. I haven't really studied sacred geometry very much. Um, so this is a great introduction for me to learn the different symbols and the meanings. But also um, there are some just really beautiful cards that it was kind of eerie how much they stood out to me. So um, I just love this deck. And this is the one I've been going to the most for my own personal um, uh, questions um, lately. Um, I've been switching them out. But there's that one. Um, oh, and before I get too far down the line, I do want to mention that in the description box below, I have in the entire list of all of my Oracle decks and the authors, um, and I have purchased all of my decks primarily from Amazon. So you, I know you can find them on Amazon. There are a few decks that you can find directly from the publisher or um, on other sites, but I just always go to Amazon because I get free shipping, so it's just easier for me. Um, so the next deck is actually one of those decks that I didn't purchase from Amazon after just saying that. Um, I actually saw these in a casino, which was really interesting, and in their gift shop and it just really stood out to me and I had to have them the moment I saw them. This is actually the first deck I ever purchased and um, it's the Medicine Cards um, deck. And let's see if I can get kind of better here. Um, it's by Jamie Sams and David Carson, and this deck is gorgeous. They also have about, I don't know, nine or ten cards that you can make your own designs on. So you can, if there's a card in here, an, an animal that isn't in here that you really um, resonate with, like I love sloths. So I added a sloth card in here because sloths to me represent some very specific characteristics and elements in my life. So I made my own sloth card and I love seeing my own personal cards that I created and using them in my spreads. Um, but I also wanted to highlight their book because this is a unique um, book. So here it is. It's a hardback book um, and it's really beautiful and the spreads are gorgeous. There's an image for each animal. The, the number at the top represents the card um, and then it has a very detailed description about the medicine that that uh, animal can represent to you. And I love it so much. Um, it's a great deck and it's just really easy to connect with and use. And also I've, I've recognized and noticed that um, people who may be a little more skittish or not as interested in oracle card decks or tarot cards really resonate with the animal cards because it's more about like spirit animals and um, it's definitely um, focused on Native American uh, medicine and um, folklore. So I really love, I love that deck. 
And the next deck that I want to show you guys is the Earth Warriors Oracle. And this kind of is similar to the Animal um, Spirit uh, Oracle cards that I just showed you in that it's all rooted in Native American medicine. And the artwork, which is done by Isabel Brina, I'm sorry if I butchered your name, um, is gorgeous and it's amazing. And I love this deck so much. Um, I use this when I want to really connect with my ancestors as well as when I want to connect with um, Mother Earth uh, more strongly um, or um, with goddess energy. So I'll pull cards if I'm kind of feeling in that mood. Um, of course I can connect with them directly through channeling, but I like to see the artwork. I like to see the messages that come through this way as well. So I do really love this. And I should put a link in the description box to this too. Um, Isabel Brina, um, she has a beautiful Etsy shop where you can purchase original artwork done by her. And a lot of her artwork um, from the Oracle card, uh, the this deck, is actually on Etsy so you can purchase prints, um, larger posters and all that kind of stuff if this deck really resonates with you. It's super cool. And um, I'm a big fan of um, a lot of really unique artists so I love to support them when I can and her deck is amazing. So um, definitely check that out if it resonates with you. The next deck that I want to show you guys is um, the Angel Therapy deck. This deck is actually recommended um, by the angels. So um, Angel Spirit has told me and uh, other mediums that this deck is really um, what they want people to use when they want to connect um, with the angels and also when they want to start to learn how to channel. So this is a really great deck. Um, it has some really great cards that are more solution oriented. So action step cards to get you through a situation or tell it tells you also how to connect or who to connect to for specific things. So connect to Archangel Michael or Raphael or Gabriel or um, Jophiel or any other of the archangels um, as well as your own spirit team your own angel team so I love this deck so much I use this quite a bit um, when I just need to get a quick um, understanding of maybe what someone needs for a reading um, looking at okay where it is what is what is it that they um, may want? And of course, that comes out through their questions, but this just kind of solidifies that and reinforces the information that's coming through in a channeled way. So I really like using these. Um, they're fun and um, they're just beautiful as well. Um, this deck here, and I'm not going to lie, it's interesting, but I don't connect with it as much as I do most of my other decks. Um, this is the Lunar Nomad Oracle, and I really like this deck because it's designed to really unlock your creativity and awaken your intuition. And I like this deck because it's very, um, has just so many beautiful layers and colors and uh, images within images within this, uh, each card. Um, but, um, and I have used this to kind of give me some artistic ideas for maybe an art journal page um, and different things like that. But um, I don't connect with this one as much as I do with the others. But if this is something that's interesting to you, definitely check it out. I bought this one at Barnes and Noble. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can find this on Amazon as well. Um, but yeah, so that's that's this one. Um, the next deck is the Keepers of the Light Oracle Card deck. And this is by Kyle Gray. And I love this deck because each card is an Ascended Master. And um, I really like using this deck to practice with um, channeling students. Um, to kind of help, okay, pick a, an Ascended Master that's stepping forward to work with each um, uh, student and um, we practice sensing that energy and connecting with them and seeing if they have any specific messages for that student. So I love using this to practice sensing energy with. So I highly recommend it if that's something you're interested in. It's also just beautiful artwork and it has a lot of information about that Ascended Master. So there are some Ascended Masters that you may not have heard of that are in here and it's fun to learn uh, learn more about those people. So I really like that. Um, the next deck is also kind of a larger box set deck and this is the Druid Plant Oracle and this is by uh, Philip and Stephanie Cargom. 
um, with illustrations done by Will Worthington. And I bought this off of Amazon. No, I bought this from Barnes and Noble, but I've seen it on Amazon, so I know it's there. Um, but it's gorgeous. I resonate with um, the Druid um, people and just the Celtic culture. And also I'm interested in herbalism, so um, I really liked learning more about the plants. They teach you about the plants in here, but they also tell you kind of what those plants represent, um, and then you get the messages through that. So I love this so much. It's very cool, and it comes in a nice sturdy box. It's all nice and, you know, it stays packaged really well, and uh, it's just really gorgeous. So I highly recommend that one. The next deck that I really love, and I recently bought this one as well, is the Wild Offering Oracle. And this one is done by Tasha Silver, and art is was done by Katie Daisy. And it's just beautiful floral cards. Um, the back is actually Ganesh, which is gorgeous. And um, I like this card deck because each card has the message on the card itself. You don't have a book that you have to go through and reference to see what the card means. And I really like that. And they're positive, um, affirming statements um, or uh, longer statements that um, positively could impact you. So I really love this one a lot and it's just super gorgeous. Um, Mary Queen of Angels. I love this deck by Doreen Virtue as well. So I have several Doreen Virtue decks. Um, this one is great because um, I love Mother Mary. I really connect with her. And just this deck has such a motherly, loving feel, energy to it. Um, so I love this deck. And it has beautiful gold. Um, I don't know if it's called embossing, but it's like gold um, uh, edges. So it's just really gorgeous. And um, the feel of them are really great. And the um, artwork is beautiful because it's all really famous Renaissance art paintings, art paintings, paintings, um, done, um, of course, focused on um, Jesus, Mother Mary, um, angels, and all that kind of stuff. So that one's a really fun one. Um, the next one that I love, um, and I don't use this one as often, but I do love it. It's the Moonology Oracle Card Deck by um, Yasmin Boland. And I purchased this one at Barnes & Noble as well. Um, but I love it because it teaches you about all the moon phases and kind of what they represent. Um, it also has zodiacs in here, so that's kind of cool. Um, I personally, I again, I don't really use this too much, um, but I love using this for my art journal that I'm working on. And I may do another video about my art journal. Um, it's really a reference journal for myself, um, and I do a lot of drawings in it, um, and I'm drawing out all of the moon phases for my reference journal. So um, I love this because I get to use this as a guide and kind of discuss what does each of the moon phases represent and mean and how can you interpret that for your own um, information. Um, so I really, really love this one. Highly recommend it. It does have a matte finish, which is interesting, and I do like that. Um, it's a little hard to break in. I haven't fully broken this in yet, so it's a little hard to shuffle um, and get a clean um, separation between the cards, but I think that just comes with time. So yeah, this one's an awesome one. Um, the next one is the Magical Messages from the Fairies. This is also by Doreen Virtue. And um, I really like this one. It's just pretty. Um, it's fun. It's interesting. The uh, guidance is pretty direct, which I like. Um, and it's, of course, got fairies on it. And I love fairies. So it's beautiful. And I highly recommend this for people who are interested in connecting with fairies. Um, but, uh, you know, mainly just might have just angel cards focused on angels um, or other um, themes. But this one's really great to connect with the fairies. And they like this one too. So, highly recommend that. The next deck, also by Doreen Virtue, is the Angel Answers Oracle Cards um, deck, which I love because this has literal yes and no question. Um, answers in here sorry so literal yes no cards um, so you can ask a question and you might get a yes or a no um, there I think there's um, two yes cards where one says yes with just 
a yes, and then the other one says yes with an exclamation point. Um, and there are some cards around timelines, so I like that. So you can ask more timeline directed questions. Um, and this artwork done by uh, Radley Valentine is gorgeous. There's so many details to this. Every time I use this deck, I'm seeing new things that really influence the energy and the feel of this deck. Um, and it's just really beautiful. So I highly recommend this one. Um, okay, I have three more. I promise um, I'm almost done. <laughs> this one is the Past Life Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue and Brian Weiss. Um, I like this deck because I'm really interested in past life stuff. Um, this to me represents more of a starting point to ask questions and then you can go forward and do more research um, or go and receive a more in-depth reading around past life information. Um, this one yeah, it just seems to me kind of an introduction. Um, others may disagree, um, but I haven't used this one too much. So um, if you have and you think it's more in depth, just put a comment down below. Um, but I do really like the artwork in this one and it's just kind of fun to use to ask those questions to start thinking about what happened in a past life or what can you let go in this life that may have come from a different past life. Uh, the next one, also by Doreen Virtue, is Life Purpose Oracle Cards, and I like this one a lot. Um, I haven't used this one too much recently, um, but I like it because it's pretty on point. I pulled a lot of, I did a lot of spreads for my family members with using this Life Purpose deck, and it was kind of amazing how much the information resonated with my family who were not, I mean, they're not against connecting or, um, you know, channeling or anything, but they're not like super comfortable or interested in hearing the information. So it was a practice for me and I'm very grateful that they let me practice. And um, I gave them the information on with this deck and they were just kind of blown away and they really enjoyed the experience. So I highly recommend this one. The artwork is beautiful and it's just got, if you can see maybe in the back here, some, uh, you know, cards and then it has a little, well, the green spots here and has explanations as to what each of those mean and kind of a little saying with it, which I like. My final deck is the Fairy Oracle deck by Arthur Rackham and Jamie Elford. Um, I love this deck just for the art alone. It's gorgeous. Um, I like the fact that the um, messages are pretty straight to the point. They're pretty direct. They're little short sentences. But I also really appreciate that this deck comes in all these different languages, which I like. I just like the fact that, you know, we could all be using the same version across the world, across the globe, um, and getting the same information. Not that it's different for any other decks that are printed in different languages, but I just thought that was really um, mindful and uh, really cool that they printed it this way. And the artwork is gorgeous, like I said. Um, it's a little, um, it's not necessarily intuitive to me what each of the art pieces represent for the message. Um, once you read the message, you kind of get the picture, but if you just looked at the picture, I don't think you would get the same message that the book gives. Um, but that's just me and my own personal experiences with this book. I or the deck in the book. I really, really like this. Um, I think it's really fun. And the artwork is just, again, really exquisite. And I think the messages are great. Um, so I highly recommend this one. And I did purchase this one off of Amazon. Um, and really, that's my entire Oracle deck collection. I know there are people out there that have whole bookshelves and rooms dedicated to their Oracle decks. Um, I like to make sure I keep mine, and I don't think I showed you this yet, um, keep mine stored in this basket. So it's very limited. Um, and that's just really to make sure I don't overspend because it's so easy to just really want to go hog wild and buy all of these decks because they're so cool um, and they're so fun to use. Um, I definitely, I'm sure I'm going to be buying more decks. Oh, oh my gosh, I have one deck that I want to show you guys. I'm sorry, I totally forgot about this one. This one I think is my most important deck to me and that's because I made my own oracle deck 
and um, this is the front cover this is some artwork that I did myself so this is all my art piece uh, my artwork and I made them the size of poker cards poker cards excuse me because I wanted um, them to be really easy to shuffle and they're slicky so they're really easy to shuffle um, and handle um, and I used a bunch of just free images off of the web um, to use and layer on um, messages like here's the first card I pulled it's called well, let's see if you guys can see it this one's uh, blessings sorry oh there we go so blessings this image was just free online and um, I made about 64 cards here um, and I might do a video just kind of putting together how I made all of this happen. Um, it was actually a really interesting process and it cost me about $25 to um, make the, this deck and print it and have it and it was just definitely worth it because each card holds a specific energy that I put into it in the creation of it and the intention that I set with this deck. This deck personally is about self-care, self-love, and focus and um, I love it so much because that these are all the things that um, are really special to me in my self-care practice and so I really really enjoy it and I highly recommend if any of you are interested in making your own Oracle deck do it because it's an amazing experience and if you're not that's okay we have all of these amazing decks available online or at Barnes and you know any sort sort of store Barnes and Noble bookstores typically have them um, and yeah and oh I do want to point out I'm not affiliated with any of these authors or Amazon or Barnes and Noble any of these companies this is just me sharing um, the Oracle decks that I love and um, just sharing that information really quickly with you um, if you have any questions feel free to post below your questions under this video and um, I will also again be including a list of the entire Oracle card collection that I have and their authors um, again most of these if not all of them can be purchased on Amazon um, I found many of them at Barnes & Noble um, and then of course I made my own so um, there's a few different options for you if if, um, yeah you have any questions again post below reach out to me uh, thank you all so much for hanging in there and I love you all love and light and have a great day bye